Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome to my MIM programming series. And uh, for the first lecture, we're gonna go over how to install MIM on Windows and Mac or Linux. And uh, from there, we're gonna start with our Hello World program. All right, so let's get into it. You're gonna open up Chrome or any web browser and you're gonna type in MIMLang or you're gonna search up for NIMLang, NIM programming language. And you're gonna click on the first link. I'm gonna hit download. And I'm on Windows, but if you're on Linux, then all you have to do is follow the same steps. Just, you know, uh, follow their instructions, uh, do the environment variables. Uh, you can run these commands like apt get install nim, etc., etc. But because I'm not on Linux and I don't have a Linux machine, I'm going to show you how to install it on Windows. All right, so you're going to click on download uh, one of the zip files. And I'm running a 64-bit system, so I'm going to click on the second one, and I'm going to hit save. I'm going to save this on my desktop. Okay, so we've downloaded the zip folder, and now I'm going to go here and extract to NIM 1.0. And here's my extracted folder. I'm going to uh, double-click, double-click here again, and then now. I'm going to double click on finish.exe, so I'm going to run this program. And it says nim.exe is on your path. Should it be added permanently? You're just going to hit yes. Uh, should it be added permanently? Yes. And then it says here that no compatible MinGW can is found in standard locations. Do you want to download MinGW from NIM's website? Yes. And it's just going to download the, uh, the uh, C compiler here. And we're just going to wait for MinGW extraction to finish. And that should be done. And would you like to add NIM to your start menu? I'm going to select no, but it's up to you. It's a personal choice. And if we want to test out if we've installed NIM successfully, all I got to do is open up CMD or Git Bash, whichever you own. I'm going to open up Git Bash in this case. And I'm going to uh, type in nim, and it's going to tell me the command is not found. So that means it did not install it successfully, unfortunately. So what I'm going to do, if you encounter this problem like me, all you have to do is come here, click on bin folder, okay? And I'm going to uh, click on this one, not double click, just single click, select it, hit properties, or right click and then properties. And then from here, you're gonna select this location where NIM is installed. I'm gonna copy this, hit OK. And then I'm gonna type in edit in uh, system environment variables, and I'm gonna hit this one. After the system properties panel comes up, you're gonna hit on environment variable, and you're gonna go on path right here. And I'm just gonna hit edit. If you don't have path, that's fine. Just hit new and call it path. You should have this on your desktop. Hit edit here. And I'm just gonna have this bin. I had bin installed, but I deleted it. So uh, if you don't have this, just hit delete. Hit delete here. I'm just gonna show you what it's like to have a fresh, uh, fresh installation. So I'm gonna hit new. And I'm just gonna paste that location that I just showed you, all right? Now be careful naming this or renaming this on your desktop because you'd have to come back here again and rename it here. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to hit OK, OK, OK again. I'm going to close Git Bash so I restart it. Then I'm going to open Git Bash again. And this time if I type in NIM, you're going to see it's actually installed successfully on my computer. All right, so that's it for installation video. Uh, I'm going to see you in the next lecture where we're going to do our Hello World program. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace out.